the thing I do want to talk about, because this is a comfort to so many parents, there was one building that stood out among all the rest. And the buildings are made not of stone, uh, not of wood, but of a material that has a light in it. Now, that I don't want it to sound too Las Vegasy, but it was a gentle, welcoming light. But this particular building glowed with a light that had a warmth to it. And I asked what building that was, and I was stunned when they said, that is the nursery. And I responded, nursery in heaven. And they said, yes, James, this is where the souls of aborted children or children who die in their innocence from disease or come back here. And each soul is so precious to God that that they're cared for. They grow at a different rate because they're, they're not growing a physical body. So they grow at about three times the rate that we do, uh, uh, that a child does on earth. And, um, and this is where they, they take care and, and so on. Of, of the, the little souls that have been unwanted or have died. And I had no idea how this part of the story would have such an effect on women who have lost children or who have had to have an abortion at a time in their life when they had no other option. And it's been a blessing to explain to these parents that their child lives. Their child lives. And so, anyway, 